This is the clutch off my John Deere 6x4 Gator. I've already taken it apart. I just want to show the method used in case someone else wants to use it. Helpful for me. So the bottom of this has recess. So you want to mark everything so nothing turns. And you put holes in a piece of plywood or a sheet 2x4, piece of 2x4, with some bolts that rest in here like these. And then I rounded these bolts off, make them smooth. So that way, turning left or right, they're not sitting against the sharp side. So I just rest the unit in, the holes, clamp it down, not for strength, but just for lifting, to stop from lifting. And then you gotta get the spider off. When you get the spider off, I just made a remover. This was some kind of tool at the auto parts store that was big enough to fit over. Got my grinder. I just originally laid it on top of here like this and then drew up where the spider legs are. And of course, fits on like that. Put that on, twist it off, and you're done. Now for the rest of the takeoff, I marked everything to make sure I could at least put it all back together in the way it was supposed to. And did different colors. That blue dot was there from the factory. Then oh, I still have to unscrew it. I've already broken the pressure with the tool, so it's easy to do by hand. Corrosion, some pitting that needs to be cleaned up somewhat. these rollers have flat spots that need to get replaced and inside the rollers there's two washers on either side and this roller has got a groove on the edge come out with finger pressure so it's going to be pressed out I imagine. Another flat spot. And 
in the front spot. side of those. That's it.